What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. All right guys, today I'm gonna be showing you my 2024 gun collection, but most important, I'm gonna be showing you the upgrades that I have in, the, in every uh, firearm that I have, okay? So I dedicate this last year, putting stuff on, uh, on, on the guns, uh, optics, uh, lights, uh, extended magazines, extended plates, and in case, you know, all the recoil springs and all the good stuff that every single firearm needs to get better, all right? So without wasting any more time, I'm gonna be showing you the pistols first, all right? So here, uh, let me use my glasses here, my ring glasses. All right, so here, um, well, before I even start, um, all the guns are being cleared one by one uh, after I took it to the, uh, out of the safe, right? Because of the uh, of the new uh, regulations and uh, or rules from YouTube, you cannot be showing ammunition or extended magazines, okay? So uh, the extended magazines that I'm gonna be showing are 29, not over 29 rounds. So with that being said, okay, if you see it long, it's gonna have 29, 29 rounds. The rest are gonna be obviously under uh, 25 rounds, all right? So we're gonna start here with the Ruger 5.7, all right? So I made this rail right here. It's a Picatinny rail for it, all right? I didn't like the plate that they offer in the market since the, 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 the optic is gonna be uh, sitting high already. I didn't want to put some screws and put a permanent in there, right? I want to be able to um, put a coin or a flash screwdriver, remove the side real quick, and uh, be able to use the iron sights, okay? So this gun comes with a blackout uh, rear sights, adjustable sights, and the front fiber optic uh, sights, okay? This one is a 1000 lumen TLR9. It's a little long. It's perfect for those guns that have a long rail in the front. I have a couple of guns like that, and I got a couple of guns with this uh, light. And especially for those that have a uh, compensator that push out a little longer, this one kind of like level the compensator with the, with the light, right? I'm gonna show you uh, um, when we start seeing the other guns. I, an additional, I uh, have a flat trigger here. I don't remember, and this one is from, uh, I, I really don't remember. If you have any questions about this trigger, I can get back with you. I can show you, um, this is not the manual trigger, right? Um, so it's kind of like a flat trigger, an adjustable trigger. As you guys can see, it's already adjusted. That's the brake right there. Brake, clean brake. Reset, boom, break, all right? Pretty good trigger, I like it. Way better than the other one from factory. Um, the material is made of aluminum. Nice gun, nice gun. Um, I would like to talk a little bit more, but we gotta move faster, so this video is not gonna be over an hour long, okay? So, that was the Ruger 5.7. We're gonna continue with the Masada. Let's take the Masada right here real quick. Like I said, all the guns have been clear, one by one. This one is the Masada, IWI Masada, nine millimeters. I'm rocking a, um, a Beridian. You guys can see it right there. Beridian RX-35. Pretty good, pretty good, uh, um, solid. Um, optic, you just can see it has a big, big window, and it will come witness with the the factory size from um, the Masada. So from the factory size. Actually, um, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys know. If you're a Masada owner, you can use the six hour P320 size on this uh, uh, on this gun. That will fit perfectly. Okay. If you're looking for something taller or nice sides or anything different, okay? There's a lot of um, variety out there of um, different uh, item sides. So I'm rocking a Crimson Trace um, Trail Light, all right? This one is a thousand lumens and it goes all the way down to five lumens only, all right? In addition, this one had the Shake and Wake, the shake and wake uh, feature for the red light in the bottom. Let me show you real quick. All right, so you press down this for five seconds 
and then move it and it's gonna come up all right so it doesn't move for a little bit it's supposed to turn on turn off all right imagine you had this gun on the night time during the night you grab the gun, there's no visibility in the room, it's dark, or whatever you sleep in, you know, in the sleeping bag, and, and the woods, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever situation is, it's dark, you grab your gun, as soon as you grab your gun, boom, the light comes on, right? And it has the, the, the dim red light that will um, point down to the floor, and uh, just in case you don't wanna be identified real quick, and walk around uh, the wood without pushing too much light. Still, you, you, you're gonna be able to um, push out the 1,000 lumens, right? 1,000, and it goes down, 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 to five lumens, which is very low. But if it's very dark, you're gonna be able to see everything with, uh, you know, all the floor with very low light, right? Pretty cool light, uh, I still test it. Uh, this is one of the last lights. I was gonna buy another PID. I love that light from Holosun. But I saw this one online in one of the videos and I was like, man, this looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try it. It was like $120 and I decided to try it, okay? Um, the light is not like, it not, it's not gonna pretty much throw the light very, you know like distance out there this is pretty much gonna illuminate for inside the house the whole room or the whole kitchen area or whatever part of the house you are okay as soon as you turn on the light the light it's gonna it's gonna light up everything in the house pretty much it's like a like like a like a car light you guys can see the square right there boom there you go i did some stippling in the gun it come out pretty good. I didn't like the the one that came from factory. Uh, you just can see it's different here from different here from here. Um, I grip it here, but not here. I want to be able to, you know, move freely that that uh, trigger. I did some uh, modification. Let me turn this off real quick. You can turn it off. Disable it. All right. Um, I'm gonna be throwing a uh, uh, a review about this light, right? A comparison with all the other lights. All right, it is rechargeable. The battery is rechargeable. It comes with two batteries. And uh, actually you can use the CR123 batteries in case of an emergency if you don't have the other ones. Or you can buy extra batteries, you know, and buy you a, a nice charger and have them all charged at the same time. All right, so um, uh, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant. And well, already, uh, uh, review on the light. So let's move on to the gun, right? So I did that uh, modification right there so you can sit out your finger. It will help you out to control the firearm. Definitely is gonna help you out, you know. It comes with a 17 round magazine, the one that, you know, I just removed. You see, that's the take off and that's a reset. It's not, it's not bad. This is a, a great firearm. I really love it, you know. I, I don't think, I, I don't see me getting rid of this gun ever all right um in addition you know i got an ascension uh a plus five 17 plus five from uh taylor freelance all right it's already tested and it works pretty good i double i masala but let's move to the next one so here we have a beretta this is the apx this one went to the trials for the US Army, the new gun after the old Beretta, right? Um, this one was all black, uh, but the, uh, it's a model of firearm, right? You can change uh, the grip, right? Um, I think um, this is a good, like a really good firearm, but I don't think Beretta put too much work on this after uh, the firearm was fabricated, you know what I mean? they could do better and compete with the p320 even if they went won the trials uh, with the u.s army and uh make more production with different sizes or all the components make different uh, um, grips just like the p320 for this gun since it's modular right 
all the trigger set, everything comes in one piece. So leaves the um, mo uh, the grip empty, just like the P320. All right, so I'm rocking here, nine stick, 1,000 lumens. Uh, you know, it's it's not it's not an expensive light, and uh, it's it's pretty good. It's a it's a pretty good light. Have the same controls as the uh, the TLR one from Streetlight. I'm rocking a, a Holocene 507 Charlie X2. This one have the circle, the dot, and the cross. Pretty good um, in red. I wish I wish it was, it was green. I like green better than red, but you know, not complaining too much. I got the uh, the suppressor sights that was released from uh, the Beretta uh, website. So I got those and I'm rocking a micro compensator for Strike Industries, from Strike Industries. All right, pretty good. I haven't had, uh, I didn't have to change the um, the recoil spring, you know, no problem shooting. And man, this thing is a machine, you know, it's pretty good, pretty good. Plus five extension. Nice, nice. Definitely a good pistol, and you can find it as a, uh, a good price. So that was the Beretta APX uh, Combat okay? version. So we're gonna follow up with the Glock. I over here. I have the Glock 19 with the 17 and barrel. Right, this 17 was removed from my old Glock. Uh, well, not old Glock. I still have it. Um, I put a threaded barrel, so the other barrel put it in here. All right, I'm rocking a, a PID from Holocene. This one is a thousand uh, lumens. Um, it's rechargeable, uh, but you can remove the batteries and buy the same batteries. I did that. I have plenty of batteries, extra batteries already charged. No problem. The battery goes down. I have to wait for the battery charge. I just drop another one and recharge the other one in the box charger, all right? So I have, a, um, as you guys know, this one is a 15 round and I have a plus five. Uh, Magwell for Strike, Strike Industries and uh, um, Tyron Designs, um, Slide Lock, Back Plate, and Mag Release. I think this is one of the good and only working mag release from the Glock, for the Glock. I see, uh, I had the uh, extended uh, mag release from Strike Industries. I mean, I, I got a bunch of parts from Strike Industries. I trust Strike Industries, but like every brand is always that, you know, that one part that is trash and that one, it is the one, okay? So stay away from the Strike Industries extended uh, mag release. It's not gonna work good. My mags are were falling off every time I was shooting at the range. Okay, I was pissed. <coughs> Put a bunch of mags, none of the mags works to make sure it was not the mag. <coughs> so I have um, not suppressor size, but I have toe size enough to go in this uh, nice size with uh, my uh, EPS carry. All right. Nice side, you know, um, very compact. Uh, it's compared with the uh, 407K. It's pretty much the 407K um, or 507K side, but with the little addition to uh, enclose the, uh, the side. All right, and the green green side, green, green dot, you guys can see it right there. Everything going is perfect. Um, I did my stippling too. It came out pretty good. Boom, boom. Really nice, really nice. It looks beautiful. This one is one of my uh, favorite guns for uh, concealed carry. All right. <clears throat> We're following up with the Glock 17. So I have a Griffin barrel with another uh, micro compensator from uh, Strike Industries. Boom. Beautiful. Uh, this one have night sights, low sights, uh, no need for suppressor high sights. Since I'm not putting a suppressor in the firearm, 
I don't want anything that I have to be graced or any of my firearms to get a part or um, make it SBR, all right? I don't want nothing to do with that. So um, here I have, um, what is this? This is the SCS MOS Green. So this one is a total solar, it's solar, uh, rechargeable, like if the fully charged, it will last all, all the way to 50,000 uh, hours. I haven't charged this thing since I have it. And most of the time it's been in the, in the safe. Um, I have a time in trigger. I put a 15 pounds Rico spring. Um, that's pretty much it. I did a stippling thing on the gun. It came out pretty good. You guys can see all around. Um, this one is aluminum, uh, not branded, but it's pretty good. I like it. You know, there's no need for me to change it for another uh, expensive one since it's pretty good. You know, fits like a glove. I don't have no problems coming off. It's been working for, it was working pretty good. Every time uh, I scratch it, you know, I use a uh, bare wood <coughs> for aluminum. And I make it look brand new again. You know, have a little plate in the back, it says Glock, nothing uh, fancy. Everything else is factory. The mag release and the uh, slide lock. Pretty good shooting. Uh, after I changed that spring, uh, 50 pound springs, with the compensator, I uh, mean, this is a nice shooting gun, no no hiccups, you know what I mean? And with that trigger, timer trigger, perfect. Let me show you that. Take off, break. Freeze it, wow. All right, so I have 17 plus five and a strike number three, so you guys can see, I did some stippling to, to match the gun. Same with the 19. So we're gonna follow up with the six hour P229. This is a DAC model. Um, recommend you to go to my channel, subscribe, and see the modifications that I have done in this gun. I have changed the springs. I have uh, polished a lot of parts on it. Um, I have changed the sealer spring and, you know, uh, a lot of modifications in the gun, all right? The slide has been polished. Um, this thing came out pretty good. You guys can see. Um, all chrome, the barrel too. Um, this one, the recoil uh, spring. I forgot how you call that. I got a brain fire right now. It's, uh, it's heavier than the one from factory that is hollow to um, now help with the Rico, put more weight in the front. I had a flat trigger, boom, nice trigger. Um, definitely, you know, um, I inhaled this gun a lot. You know, I had a, a chrome plate that says SIG. <coughs> I had some hot grips, kind of like, um, like satin, not very shiny, uh, aluminum. And I wrap it with the uh, edge material uh, wrapped from handle grips. I'm rocking a six hour uh, Fox Rock One X ray. And if you guys can see everything, everything on this gun that made contacts metal to metal is being polished. If you guys can see on the sides here that rig, that, that, that uh, hammer one runs on the sides. Everything is polished till the point, just like the slide. You know, this gun is very smooth. As you can see, that's the first pull. Break. It's a long reset, but I like it like that. You know, it's a good fire for uh, concealed carry. You know what I mean? You don't want a competition trigger to go with your concealed carry, uh, um, concealed carry, all right? You, you definitely, you know, you don't want to put the finger in your trigger, nervous, and that fire goes off, you know, and 
and uh, <clears throat> go to jail. Pretty much. All right. There you go. Six hour P229. Modify by me a little bit. You guys can see the screws. Those screws are six hour too. There you go. So moving on, um, I have an old first generation P320. It was all black and I did the same thing. You know, I polish this one. I have round all the corners in the front. As you can see all the corners. Like the regular P320 is, uh, you can see more lines, you know, but this one is all rounded. I rounded all the corners to make it look smooth. There you go. This one is uh, chambered in Forty Smith & Wesson. Um, I think it holds 14 rounds plus four with extension. Um, and I think one, I think this one is from Tire Design too. Don't remember. You know, don't remember, don't take my word for sure, but I think it's starting the signs. Um, I'm rocking a six hour Fox truck, another Fox truck, uh, one X ray, and I have the uh, snake eyes sights, that, that ring, that rig, or so that ring, um, snake eyes. Polish the trigger, polish all this. You guys can see in the back here. No, you guys gonna be able to see it. it. Says say hello to my little friend. There you go. Grip is in white. That's an X uh X series grip. Nice touch. Nice touch. P320. We're gonna follow up with uh, the 509. This one have a whole some PID 1000 lumens. Really good. I already explained how it works. This one is a 509 mid size. It comes with the uh, high sides, you know, suppressor high sides. <coughs> but most likely it's gonna be for um, co witness with the optic. All right. So here I have a, a 507 Charlie. This one is a B2, but it's a green version with a green dot, all right? I think this one is a 2MOA. Yeah, that one is a 2MOA. I haven't changed this battery since I got it. I mean, it's been over two years, all right? Love this pistol, love the grip, love the, the, the design on the grip, that graphic design. Beautiful, you know, I got the 24 uh, round mag, but of course, of course it comes with, uh, for more concealment, with the 15 rounds, because this is uh, a mid-size compact, right? Not so compact or micro, this one is the regular compact or if you can call it carry size. There you go. So, moving on guys. I have here my Canic TP9. Um, not much, I haven't done any much. I mean, too much on it. Um, size are from factory. I don't need to change the size. So now all I need is the size for co witness. And when I turn the light on, on during the night, all I see is three three silhouettes, three squares. As long as those three squares match, there you go. It might, battery goes off. Uh, Taylor Freelance back trap. This one is the one, one of the ones that comes with it, her. Um, that one is a 15 round. I have a whole, uh, all light, light. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how this work. You know, light only, light with the laser or just the laser. Rechargeable battery, quick release. What else you can ask from a light? You know, pretty good light. Um, give it to uh, 
to Hollis in. I mean, I got to Hollis to do all line. They did a great job, great job, and they still doing a good job with them, all right? Um, this one comes with another 12 rounds. With and without the pinky station, pinky station. That's a 12 round, and this one is another 12 round, but I add a plus nine from Taylor Freelance. There you go. If you want to use it as a home protection, you can put this one up during the night and use one of the other ones for concealed carry. Perfect firearm, really good. Um, you can look at the takeoff on this boom, break, and reset. Bam, beautiful. We're going to continue. We're going to continue with the other canic that I have. This one that is the SFX TP9 SFX. Um, this is one of my first uh, firearm. This one comes with 18 from factory. I did the stapling. I put a Venom uh, from Vortex. As you guys can see, uh, polish all the barrel, change all everything inside, all the springs to enhance the firearm. Um, I had a uh, Freedom Smith um, Freedom Smith trigger. Look at that take off. Nothing. Break. Reset. Boom. <clears throat> Extend the competition. Uh, Mag release. Taylor Freelance, um, Magwell, Taylor Freelance, uh, charging handle, pretty good, pretty good man. This is a, this is a nice gun. I mean, it's a it's a it's a nice 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 shooting gun. It's very accurate, um, and what it cost cost me five hundred dollars when it first came out on the market. Nice. I mean, that gun is nicer than all the guns that cost over $1,000. Let me put it that way, okay? So here, um, I hear, um, on this one, I have made uh, a little bit, a little bit of modifications, right? So I have from CYT uh, plus five, CYT, uh, I don't know. Um, I hear that they don't have too many uh, items in stock in the website, right? But I'm pulling out the information. Magwell plus five, CIT um, flat trigger. Okay, um, I had changed all the springs inside. I uh, put a 15 pound recoil spring. Okay, um, another. Um, I like this one because it's compact and um, actually do the job. Okay, so this one is another Strike Industries um, micro compensator and another PID light 1000 lumens so i'm rocking a romeo zero with the uh metal shell uh protector in the top all right this one was a regular cyanide i think i bought this slide for hundred dollars that's what it cost one hundred dollars on the uh on the on the sar usa uh website i had to leave the real sign and because I could win as a, the, the real side of the optic with the Glock side in the front. So I bought the perfect size of the front side to co witness with this, uh, uh, with the side on the uh, optic. <clears throat> I had the edge um, grip for handle grips. I thought I ordered a black when I received it was gray i want black but still i got it so i'm gonna use it one once i start wearing out i'm gonna order a black, a black one all right so let me go check here this one real quick this will have a better clean break crispy look that's a takeoff break reset boom break very, 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 very good gun. Very reliable. Man, this gun shoots like a dream. And with that compensator, better. Okay? I better, I mean, uh, really recommend uh, this gun. I recommend it. One more look. 
saw nine, nine millimeters. All right, moving on. Here I have a P320 left over, right? It should run all three at the same time. This one is the X-Carry. Not much done to it. Um, I have adjust the Holocene um, 407K X2 on it with a green dot. Well, this one have the red dot. This one is a 6 MOA. Now, um, as you guys can see, I have cut and shape it, you know, the real side from factory. This is the plate that comes with it, right? So I did a modification. I used that plate, I cut it, and I um, modified it in the way that it's gonna close all the extra space, empty space that looks ugly, you know, and make it look better. There you go. So that's the Holocene 507K. And also I put um, the right side uh, height, height for uh, the front post optic side, I mean, uh, uh, not optic, uh, fiber optic side to go witness with the side in the back of the, uh, that is mounted in the back of the Holocene. All right, here I have another six hour Fox truck one, X-ray one, and I have the 21 round uh, magazine from six hour two. Boom, nice gun, beautiful gun. I don't want to do anything to it. I just want to leave it just like that. The trigger, you have a good trigger. Take off, boom. A little smoshy, you know, but it's a good trigger. Reset, boom. This one have a good reset too and a good um, break. All right, so moving on. Moving on with the CCs, I have my CC P10F. This one have a Holocene 407K. This one have a green dot. And I believe, yeah, this one have a six MOA. Pretty good for guns, you know, for handguns, six MOA. I recommend six MOA. At the beginning, I used to buy um, the two MOA, but I believe two MOA would be more for like a rifle you know unless you're a young man that your eyes are like 2020 20, but you know i'm getting old six and one eight works for me all right i put the uh suppressor high sides or toe sides to go witness with the uh holocene uh like you say like like you know this gun don't comes with any plates you have to order it separately so at the first i put uh long time ago uh Vortex, but I decided to go with this uh, setup right here. All right, so I'm rocking a TLR one. It looks pretty good in this gun. I'm leaving that light in there. Um, another strike, strike Industries. Um, Magwell. Um, this gun comes with the nice Rico spring from factory. Like really nice. I would say like 15 pounds too. Um, I did the. Uh, the stippling, it came out pretty good. Like I said, in this, I live in like this mood, you know, to get that trigger in there. But in the other side, the story is different, you know. I got more grip on this side. Boom. So you guys see how this kind of like disappear right there. All right. Boom. Beautiful gun. Um, also, I want a little bit dip here so I can put my finger in there. Right, and control the firearm better. And I did that cut right there with a little bit of more stippling. Very controllable firearm, very accurate. Um, very good trigger too. <clears throat> Break. Reset. Boom. Reset, beautiful reset. Little, not long, but it's good for, for carry, um, take off. Also, let me go back to the SAR-9. Let me go back to the SAR-9, okay? So, SAR-9, right here. So SAR-9, um, I bought, like I said, I bought this uh, slide for $99 from the uh, uh, 
from factory, but also I keep the uh, the Reno slide, okay? Let me change this real quick. Got a little boring, and um, chrome the slide. As you can see, man, that shit came out pretty good. Boom. Put some high base sides in there. This slice is very similar to the Glock 17. Came out pretty good. Pretty good. All right? Yeah, that's an option, you know. Just don't throw the other slide that was all scratch. I was like, you know what? It's all crash and boring, so let me polish this one too. All right, so moving on, guys. Um, already got the CC, so let's jump with the other CCs that, now that we are on the CCs, all right? So here we have another CC. This is a CC75 SP01. This is not the tactical model. Doesn't have the decoder. I don't need all that crap, um, pretty much. I changed the spring for um, the trigger, to light the trigger. The, the trigger. I put a less, uh, uh, a lighter recoil spring. I believe that recoil spring is like a 13, 14 pounds. I have, um, well, this gun comes with the 17 round magazine and I put a plus, plus five from uh, Taylor Freelance. Pretty good. Change the grips. This gun kind of came with a uh, very thick um, rubber grips. Not saying that they're bad, they're pretty good for shooting. You know what I mean? But, and then also I got the, um, the nice um, aluminum with the pistol of Reno CC's uh, grips, but I decided to go for this one. This one looks better, all right? Uh, this gun comes with the nice sights um, from factory. Uh, there are CC's that have the CC brand on the top. <clears throat> what else? Um, like I said, Rocking another TLR9. This one, this one have a little longer slide. You see how that light looks in there? Pretty good. It's not bulky, you know, that exceed, exceed too much in the bottom or, you know, too thick. It's kind of like a perfect light for this gun. You know, it's a fast, a thousand lumens, very nice controls. You guys can see it comes with two controls, the high ones and the low ones. I decided to go to the low ones. I want to put, I want to push it down, or I want to push it to the front. Really good, really good. I love this pistol. Um, very good pistol. <clears throat> Take off, break, reset. Not bad, not bad. And the trigger is about three pounds, or even maybe, maybe a little bit less of three pounds. <clears throat> We're gonna follow up with another CC. This one is a CC Shadow 3. Um, another 17 rounds with, this one is a, with a two. And it's all a lot of oil. I like to keep uh, my guns oil, you know what I mean? Uh, I use synthetic oil, motor oil. I think that's the best for, you know, giving more life to the gun, uh, metal to metal better than the CLP that dries pretty quick, you know? CLP is more likely for me to clean them and then I put oil and spray oil, when uh, more oil when I'm shooting, okay? So anyways, let's go straight to the point. This is a Shadow 2, that's, it's a nine millimeters. Um, this is a comeback, well, orange gray. Orange gray, the slide is on black. It's like a metal, uh, like a gun like a gray, uh, I don't know how to call it. It's like a metallic dark gray, yeah. So we have adjustable side, black outsides in the back and uh, um, fiber optic in the front. I want to change that one for green. I don't like too much the red, the green catch better my eye. Um, 
she needs the um the the spring for the trigger um it comes with all the whistles you know with the extended mag the extended uh safety level <clears throat> i haven't changed the grips this old grips are renal but it you see it's, it's like like 11 or 4 pounds it goes spring um it's a green shooting um you guys can see that's that's a takeoff break reset beautiful beautiful very accurate pistol very beautiful pistol a little heavy but it's no more than a wrench or a competition gun i won't use this for well made for home defense but not for uh concealed carry boom nice gun all right moving on guys here i have my lovely wife Taurus. um she asked me to do some work on it it was all black so i decided she decided to for me to do the job and it came out pretty good pretty good pretty good pretty good full round pistol with the old light and laser you know what you gotta do is point laser shoot down uh let me see what i'm missing on this line i'm not missing not anything on this line so let me go for this one right here and this one is nine charge g2 this is generation two pretty good pistol this pistol was kind of like you know to mock the glock it used the glock sights uh it was dedicated to the uh Armed Forces to the military pretty much. I have an old uh, Crimson Trace. This one's kind of like a 500, 450 lumens. Solid light, you know, it was not expensive, but I recommend it solid light, solid light. You know, I have a Beretta uh, um, magazine here. The gun, the gun comes with a 14 rounds and this one is a 16 round, All right? So I adapted for this gun, boom, 16 rounds. Boom. Nice. So here I have a Kimber lightweight edition. I have adapted the Picatinny rail. That shit is legit. You know, it's solid in there, not coming off. Boom. And I have another TLR9, 1000 lumens with uh, Wilson Combat uh, grips best grip for this gun man they're beautiful and they're mm, very very nice i put a magwell the magwell you know flush with the grips i have a, uh this one's a wilson comeback uh extended mag 10 round mag and it's chambered on 45 beautiful gun uh, also, I have changed the recoil spring. Look at that. That's a 14 pound recoil spring. 45, Kimber, 1911. Perfect gun, no problems with that gun. I don't know, people talk crap about Kimber. Plenty of times to the range, nothing nothing bad happened not even a single malfunction now here i have the rock island 10 millimeters so this one is the rock island and 1911 a2 fs tactical or tact 2. boom it has a uh, tlr9 another uh, addition Picatinny rail to the gun and lots of modifications on the guy this gun inside um, lots of modifications most likely it's gonna be uh, manually modifications not purchases okay well the one that uh, the one purchase was the mainspring And some other parts that if you want to see it, you can go to my videos 
and wash it. All right. Um, <clears throat> Just like the 1911 brake, reset brake. All right, so you guys can see here, it's a tongue press. This one's made for a 1911. Small modification needed to be adapted to the uh, double stack 10 millimeter uh, gun. Uh, but after that, it would work pretty good. This one came with the red fiber optic from side and I changed it for green you guys can see the, the green kind of like bright more all right this one have a bull barrel but look after all the modifications that I did to this gun this one this gun is smooth like very smooth very smooth um it has 18 pounds uh 18 pounds recoil spring it works pretty good um no hiccup that shit throws the shell to the side like uh with power pretty good pistol in my opinion okay um i would like to get the 45 uh double stack the one that had the rail all the way to the front it looks badass i saw it the other day for a hundred dollars but I have another priorities right now, all right? So, can't wait. Rock Island, double stack, 10 mil. Also, I add another uh, Taylor Freelance plus. For this one, it's gonna be a plus four. So I have 16 rounds plus four, 20 rounds. 20 rounds in a 1911 style and 10 millimeters. Badass. That's why I call it badass. Alright. Alright. So I think um handguns. That's everything. We're moving to the other pistols. Alright. So a little bit of liquid. Mom's getting dry a little bit. Here I have my um scorpion. <clears throat> have a 10 round i want to put a, 10, a 30 round because of uh, youtube new uh regulations uh flat uh trigger with a hasty spring less pounds reduce brown the 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 pounds on the on the trigger i have a strike industries um mag release you can release it like this you can push it down or you can push it to the front there you go 10 round flying all right actually this is not this one's not 10 rounds that one's 20 rounds all right so i think this one's apx don't remember i don't see the brand anymore but it's an apx i like it i like the angle and I add another hot uh, sleeve um, rubberage uh, with the finger grips. It makes a perfect grip and a perfect grip for my hand. Um, if I can go back in time, I will get that trigger in black, but it is what it, it is what it is. So I'm not spending another bunch of money to get another trigger because of the color. Um, I have a Strike Industries. Uh, safety you guys can see you can put a safety here safety or uh not really so just like that same on the other side all right oh not working this way yeah not working this way a little tedious all right anyways um i have a pressure switch and I have a PL Pro Valkyrie. This one is a 1500 lumens with a press switch with the magnet. Remove the magnet, put it to charge, put it back, end of the story. All right, size going is from under the optic. And I'm rocking a six hour, six hour Romeo 5 
for a while. Not thinking, not thinking to change on this. This one's pretty good, you know, and it's cheap, man. You know, I haven't seen anything wrong. I don't see why I need to get anything better. All right. The only thing I'm gonna change on this firearm, I have a Stark angle grip. Love this angle grip. Um, you know, I have a little plug here. You want to put some batteries or whatever you want to put in there. I don't know what you're gonna put in there. Probably some Allen keys. Make sure if you put some Allen keys, you know, you put some uh, foam and then put the Allen key in in the foam so it doesn't rattle inside. Okay, um, but I'm looking to change. Not the barrel, but I'm looking to put, uh, not now, aluminum uh, um, envelope, and then uh, the mini cookie cutter, cutter from uh, Strike Industries. And that's about it, all right? That's about it for now, all right? In the future, if nothing happened with the, uh, with the braces, probably change the brace for one of those that folds in all the way in you know um that costs like probably 350 dollars but it's not a priority right now this one folds you want to put in the backpack and it works pretty good you know so that's just, that's it for now and that's it guys you know um my bolt is working pretty good i don't see any defects on this one and uh hope nothing happened with it um Scorpion. All right, moving on, guys. Here I have another 300 black. Well, first 100 black out. Five inch barrel. Um, have another Holocene, but this one is a Baldia Pro R. This one have the selector right here for light or light with the laser or just the laser. And I have a pressure switch with the same setup, all right? Rechargeable. I have an emboss, good witness with the Romeo, Romeo what, Romeo what? With the Romeo MSR, all right? Pretty good little side. Um, I love it, very light. Um, I have a cover here. This cover is for air go grips, not because I'm shooting from here. Uh, it has aero position, uh, upper and lower. I don't remember what brand is this one. It's just a, a, a rail. So it works pretty good, solid. Um, got the Magpul K2 Plus. And this one, I don't remember the brand, but it's pretty cool. Um, this one is a came um, King rubber, the one that rock goes in the bottom. So I adapt it here so I can put my shin in it um, if I need to, okay? Plus it holds this cap from getting open and get it to twist, okay? So pretty much that piston, uh, it comes with two springs, one spring in the, in the piston and another spring in the back for the recoil. Pretty good, already shot it, try it, and it works pretty good. It's very compact, okay? Not putting a brace on this one. I have a brace on the other ones. Um, I'm gonna keep this one just like a regular pistol, okay? Um, that compensator uh, is gonna go. I don't want that big blast to the side. I want everything that goes to the front. Uh, I have another stark angle grip in the front and she's beautiful. She is beautiful. I like it. I love it, you know, have a laser, and the laser is already set with the, um, this thing right here, with the optic. And I can show you magazines, you know, I have a bunch of magazines, bunch of drums, I cannot show that shit. So, hold on. My pistol AK-47, there you go. I'm gonna put some love on this one. Uh, I'm gonna scratch all this paint. Not now, not no need to, but I'm pretty much I'm gonna give it a tungsten gray or a sniper gray with black. All right, 
So this is it. You know, how foldable uh, stock, not stock, brace. Boom. Another Romeo 5. Um, I'm working on the front side post. Uh, here, I have the nice strike from Diamondback grip. It looks like a like a scorpion, man. You know, like a scorpion look. Uh, I got a less SLR um, compensator in the front. Pretty good compensator. Um, yeah, what I can say. At least some modifications here. Get that in there. Once it charge, press it down. Boom. There you go. 7.62 by 39 AK 47 Festo. Bad. So, following up with another AR, but this one is uh, chamber 556-223 uh, compensator. From Strike Industries, I have a Baldir, I mean, an Olight Baldir Pro. This one used batteries, have the laser in the bottom. You can select laser, blue light, or laser and light. I have another Stark, very nice angle grip. And I have a Six Sour, this one is Sour Romeo 7S. It used double A batteries, green dot adjustable the brightness um and boss can win the sights perfect with everything uh, this one is a uh, spy tactical built spy tactical man i don't see any more spy tactical parts out there so this one is kind of like one of the first um lowers that came in the market so this one is a fail zero uh nickel borum bolt um i do have a jp uh spring regal spring inside this thing is soft let me go with that magazine it's a 10 round magazine or 20 round i believe it's a 10 it's a 10 but anyways listen nothing on it just the ball running and the Rico helps helps up with the Rico a, a lot um, this grip uh, I don't remember I never remember the the brand on this one I'm gonna have to write it in a piece of paper for my reviews but uh, it's made to control the recoil all right yeah I can see there's a path here so when shooting and the gun you know push back this pad right here help you with the recoil. That's what it's designed for. All right. Um, I have some cool, you know, 40 RAM magazines with 40 with plus five and gold. So like I don't I don't like gold, but I can't show it to you guys. Okay. All right. Or my video will be demonetized if it's not already. Right. All right, so this one is a 7.62 inches, and that's all I have, guys, for the pistols on list. Yes, okay, so we're moving to the rifles, to the ARs. So here I have a 16 inches um, AR-15, 5.56223, um, pretty much is a IR precision uh, build. Um, this one have the Royer Superstock, um, very light Superstock, you know, have that feature that you can lock just like the Mapo and it's not gonna wiggle. Um, have a, uh, M4, 3D con ACOC, M4, I have item size in the top. For close combat and if I want to go quicker I can put to the side and I have an angle um, red side I have an 83 
uh, <clears throat> most likely everything is macro. I have another all light in the front. This one is a thousand two hundred lumens, and can't show the mic. All right, pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't know, right, um, this is the only uh, rail that I'm gonna leave. Um, key mod, not unlock. And if you have any key mod, if you don't know, this little hole right here, they're the same size of the clear of the quick release uh, detachment for your sling. So we're talking about we're talking about this right here. As you can see, that will fit in any any of those. Uh, if you want to put here. You want to put here, or you want to put on the other side. You want, to, or you want to, you know, say, let's say you don't have these covers right here. You can put it anywhere you want. I put it here, on one of those. Okay. Oh, not there. This one. Okay. So don't waste your money. You know, if you don't know, you know now. You should know, but if you don't know. Nobody knows, uh, nobody born uh, knowing everything, okay? Uh, I like this gun, I like this gun. I love it, you know, uh, I have a two craft uh, bolt. I'm going to buy, um, I have a regular uh, bolt for spring, but um, some of them are out of stock. I'm looking for the armor spec uh, in haste, uh, recoil, bolt for spring, Reduce recoil buffer spring, buffer spring. Um, but they are like out of stock right now. So I'm gonna buy one and two, just two for my other AR, all right? Not that they don't shoot pretty good, they shoot pretty good. But they still have that, um, that noise, which I don't care. I'm looking for, not for the sound, just for redu reducing the recoil, okay? Because if that um, that recoil uh, setup had two springs, the main spring that runs down, and then at the end it doesn't match on the on the on the back of the uh, of the buffer uh, too because it has another spring at the end to slow down the impact. So we're gonna continue here with another um, AR-15. This one is chambered on 300 blackout, okay? So one of the ideas that I have for this, right, is to not showing the serial number, all right? And it looks pretty good, pretty cool. I like how this looks but it doesn't show the serial number, right? Um, I have a better thing, um, a whole 17 length, oh, I'm sorry, length rail, right, hangar. Yeah, as you can see, it's all the way almost to the tip of the muscle device, but it doesn't push uh, any gases to the side. Everything is being pushed to the front. All right, I have a nice thick uh, light here. <clears throat> Put some rail covers. Uh, I have a Romeo Zero here, angle Romeo Zero, and I have ACSS Cyclops from prior, Primary Arms. Pretty good sight. Um, you guys can see, I don't know, you guys can see. Let me see if I can show you guys in the white light. It's a regular reticle. It doesn't go away. It doesn't use batteries, but you can turn it on too, and it light up in red. Pretty cool. I love it. I love it. Really love that sight. Gotta turn it off. Batteries are getting expensive. Man, everything's getting expensive. So, um, 
This Vostok doesn't come with a QD, right? Um, you can buy this QD on eBay for like 10 bucks maybe. You know, mine, I adapted right there at the end. Like a small hole in there. i put it right there. Boom. Um, for QD in the front, right? You can buy any part you want, right? But I'm not, I'm not about, I'm not all, not all about to put a lot of stuff in the gun, you know? So what I did with this one, I made a hole right here and it's the exact same size of this one. Oh. You see? There's no need to buy another QD and put it here in the, in the end block. Solid. Not gonna come out anywhere. Solid. Okay. So that's one idea, but make sure you make the hole, right, um, of the same size. So if you have the QD here, make sure the 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 uh, the drill bit that you're using is the same um, size of the hole down right here, right? So you can use that same one over here, so you don't mess it up, right? I prefer to go a little bit smaller. So it doesn't fit, right? And with the grinder tips, extend it a little bit by little. So it, when it goes, goes very tight in there, then loose, okay? Better tight than loose. Yep, regular AR-15. Another build by me. Here, I have the 7.62 by 39 um i found the perfect max for this um i'm not gonna show it right now they're what well, actually i can't they're 28 rounds they're not 30 rounds well they're the same right now so moving on okay so this one i have a strike fire uh not strike fire strike eagle one six by 24 uh like i say it's chamber and one uh, six, six, uh, 0.62 by 39. <clears throat> have a pressure switch with the uh, PL Pro Valkyrie. Pretty good. It throws light, like very far away, um, which I like it, you know, because I got the scope and I can see uh, what I'm pointing out there. Uh, if the uh, light is throwing light at a very long distance. So here I have the bipods for Macpo. Macpo made those. Uh, pressure switch. The RBG. Macpo. Macpo. What else I gonna say? Oh, I have a um, burst of fire here. For a close uh, distance, um, don't have cold in the sides. It's a scope, so it's what works. And that's all I have for this one 7.62 by 39 AR rifle. It shoots pretty good, pretty good. Other rifle. Is my budget 308 <clears throat> Mossberg Patriot Predator? I have a Vortex Sonata, and that one is 412 by 44. Bolt action, magazine, five, five round magazine, goes in the bottom. Pretty good, you know, not bad. I shoot it, it's very accurate. Um, not a competition rifle, but just to have fun, you know, go hunting. Um, I put the lens saver in the back, you know, to make it more comfortable. And I have this uh, Kydex invention for a chick rest. So all you have to do is make two holes, whatever you decide, and then adjust them 
and then go up and down. As you can see right here, up and down. There you go. Put a Walmart sling on it. And it's uh, done. Done. Put a nice compensator in the front to compensate that 308. Badass. And that's all I need, bro. That's all I need. Yep, that's all I need. My only one bolt action. Moving on here, I have Panzer Arms. Um, this thing is working flawless. It's working perfect. I have a crimson trays with a pressure switch hiding here. Uh oh, nice. Um, not a suppressor, obviously. There's a, uh, a, uh, a heat shield over the barrel. Um, got the window size with the fire fill um, side, I mean, uh, optic. Oh, I have another limb saver. Uh, for some reason, these uh, bull pot shotguns, they don't, they don't kick a lot because of the spring that they have right here, you know. And the, uh, the shape, I don't know, shape. So I have a 20, 20 round uh, draw on it. This one is a 10 round. Um, good gun for home defense once you uh, have it running. I removed the, uh, the charging handle on the top. Uh, it has a side handle. You can move this one. I'm putting it on the other side by hand. So, I believe the one that came from factory, man, the first five shots, I caught my finger, very bad. So, I put an AR, adapter AR, um, selector, pretty easy. Um, the bolt breaks like two weeks after. Um, they sent me, I think, haste at one. And after that, man, this thing is running like, like an oil machine, man. Like an SRT. This thing is running badass, man. Badass, you know. Um, I like this one. If I buy another one, no, I won't buy another one because of the troubles that I had with this one. But now that it's already fixed, um, I trust her. I trust her 100%. Uh, you can you can put uh, AR-15 uh, grips on it. It comes with an angle grip, you know, obviously. Um, it's not a short barrel, so you can put vertical grips. So I put uh, the the RVG for Mako. Yeah, there you go. Mako, I mean, uh, Panzer Arms Bullpup 12 gauge. Following up with the, I would say the Saiga copy, okay? This is the SCA, SDS Imports. It's a Lynx 12. This one is a 12 gauge uh, shotgun, semi-automatic. It's not a pump, uh, so semi-automatic. It's just like an AK-47 that shoots 12 gauge um, bullets. For shells, so um, it didn't came from from here, like this from factory. I changed all the uh, quad rail, uh, put a side on it, read the side, um, polish all this. Did a lot of modifications inside. <coughs> this is a perfect magazine that works with it. Check out my channel. Find the one the video that that talk about this magazine because this is the only magazine that you will find in the whole United States that works perfectly without a hiccup for this gun. I'm telling you, you will shoot over and over and over and over and over and over with a single hiccup using this magazine right here, okay? So I did a couple of modifications on this one. This one, you can charge it, right? And have a bottom here in the bottom, right? Right here. To hold that ball back. Uh, one time I was cleaning the gun, pull it back, put the button, push it, push somewhere a little bit, and the ball went to the front. I almost uh, lost my finger. So don't trust it anymore. 
So I did the same modification that I did with the AK-47. Did a cut on the safe, right? And that thing ain't moving. That thing ain't moving unless you push it down, okay? Um, other than that, I changed the, the, the grip in the back. Foldable stock from Apple. Adjustable. I get this one doesn't come with a uh, uh, quick detachment. Have one here, but not here. But you can buy another one for very cheap. Put it on this side, on this side. Anyways, uh, very good shotgun. Um, I don't have any hiccups on it. I bought this mount for this light right here. This one is a string light. I think this one is like a 800 lumens. You know, not a bad light. Um, it's just for a shotgun, so we're good. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Here, I have my Remington N70. This one was a A70 uh, synthetic. This one has has. A 24 inch barrel. It was cut to 18, 18 inches and a half. Uh, it's a rivet barrel, um, but it's solid. Um, I bought the handle, the charging handle, with the set um, for classic Buster kind of grip. So I changed the, the rifle style one for a newer version, right? Um, have shell holders here i have a crimson trace i put a rail on the top uh this one came with a rail it's pretty cool i put a plus to um i have a light here a blast cow survival through night tw10 yeah pretty cool you know um never lost the charge i trust that light um you can actually open here the pull the battery purchase more batteries and get more batteries charged, no big deal. Polish the bolt. Um, this shotgun was all black. I got some uh, Duda coat and spray, painted, put it in the oven, and it came out pretty good. Um, I gave him, gave her, uh, you know, <clears throat> clean it real good with carburetor cleaner, remove all the grease and light sand, and uh, paint it. Paint the inside um, because I hear these um, um, shotguns, uh, the remedies are common for having, uh, getting rust inside. So it was pretty good that I decided to give it a coat inside with a Dura coat and I haven't seen any drop of rust. Same thing I did when I removed, uh, I dismantled the whole gun and I spray the tube inside, and kind of like that Duracoat paint is kind of like an epoxy, and make that um, the chills run faster and smooth inside, right? And the best that you know, it covers, uh, it protects it from uh, the rust. Yep, Remington Seventy, home protection. Boom, full gauge. All right. Also, I have adapted this grip right here. All right, guys. My last is gonna be my other shotgun, um, the Benelli Supernova Tactical. Um, it's all black. Um, I have made some modifications, you know, um, all great too. Put the uh, classic Bostock rail with the saddle. I have on the fence uh, ammunition. This one have a slug in the in the front, following with buck uh, buckshots. So it's a mix round. 
Um, I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> so, if you're trying to rob me, you know what you're going to get. More than one. Um, this one, you can fit... Uh, let me let me read it here in the barrel. So this one you use three and a half um, shells, two and three quarters, three inches, and three and a half. That's a lot. Twelve gauge. But also you can use the mini shells. You can use the mini shells, and I have it uh, have it loaded with mini shells right now. Okay, I'm not gonna pull them out, but I, you can fit. Um, so this one is a plus two for the two and the three quarters or the three inches, but in the whole tube you can fit eleven mini shells. So it's it's filled with eleven mini shells um, box shots. Okay, double all box shots. Nice, nice. Uh, I love it. I love this shotgun. I have a thousand, uh, uh, I have the Defender E2 something from uh, Surefire, very expensive flashlight, but it's mounted. It's a hand flashlight, but it's mounted in this little mount right here. And I, you know, make the adapter to put a Picantini rail here, right here, and uh, adapt it very close to the barrel. And it came out pretty good. 1,000 lumen. So. so it shoots, the beam shoots to the front, right? Not spread out so you don't see the barrel light lining up in the room. Pretty good. I love it. Man, this thing is nice. 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 And I have a spark too. Um, from Vortex. Hi right, guys, uh, man, that's too much talking. All right, so that's all I have, guys. Uh, I'm gonna put this all this stuff back in the safe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, uh, hope you guys uh, um, have a new year. You know, we already uh, 2024. Time is going fast. Uh, stay safe out there. You know, uh, keep fighting for your rights, for Second Amendments. Uh, we have to um, support each other. You know what I mean? When I see young men doing videos, I take my time to uh, uh, comment. Uh, good comments, you know what I mean? And advice us too, you know, not to uh, throw dirt or whatever they're doing. You know, just an advice, respectfully. Okay, that's what ha that's how you educate other persons, right? Not, not being a uh, an a hole. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little long, but it is what it is. See you guys.